all right guys welcome back to my channel this is Bolaji james and you are watching on kubi media network so in this video i want to show you how to use the uh inter server control panel in just 15 to 20 minutes all right let's go now there are two ways for you to uh assess your inter server uh control panel the first one here is the control panel that we're talking about so uh the first way is for you to log in log into your inter server account like i'm going to do here now so if you log in uh let's say it's asking us to choose traffic lights so we hit verify and then we click sign in so we'll get a code in our inbox and uh so we get a code we enter our code here copy and then paste the code and uh, we sign in okay so once we sign in we need to get uh, look for the hosting package that we have we have one service here for web hosting so you can say that i have no domain because i bought my domain from somewhere else uh basically because uh interserver do not sell .com.ng, which i wanted to use so you can get your domain from elsewhere and bring it in here and you can get both from interserver i've leave a link to interserver if you want to try interserver let's assume this is your first time you're just watching my video and you want to try it the link to get 65% off your first purchase is in the description of the video. Okay, so we click on this. Now, if we go down here, we have what we call automatic login here. So we can actually log in automatically. So we can log in automatically from here. Click here. This will take us into our C panel automatically okay so this will bring us here and as you can see you can see uh the, the, the details here this is the user wordpress okay so if i close this i can go through the other way which is by typing in that uh web address and uh, that domain the domain the primary domain i can type it in wordpress um tutorial.com.ng forward slash c panel so take note of that type in your domain that you are uh, connected to your uh, hosting account on inter server and then put forward slash c panel and hit enter okay now this will ask you to enter your login details which our uh, inter server must have sent to you when you bought the hosting package okay so this is loading up all right so it's redirecting now here we are so we put in our, the, our username and our password i already have mine so i'll just go ahead and say login and successful so once we have that then it brings us back to the same place so this is how to get to our uh inter server control panel now, now having done that i'm going to click i'm going to close this and uh then let's go through it how to use it so here we have the first area which is email for this we can use this to create our email account we can create forwarders uh by email account i mean business email for instance my domain here is wordpress.tutorial.com.ng so i can create something like support dot wordpress tutorial.com.ng i can create admin at wordpress tutorial.com.ng i can click my i can create a email for my for myself i can say bolaji james dot uh um and bolaji james at wordpress.com.ng and so on and so forth and you have unlimited email if you click on this place now if i click here you see that i have the number of email i have is infinity so if you look at this place now you can see uh storage use of infinity that is storage for this and then when it comes to number of uh email 
that I, I can create. So you can see available is what is infinity, is limitless. I can create as many emails as possible. I've only created one. So you can create as many as possible for your uh, staff or uh, other people that are managing your website. Okay, so let me go back, click on C panel here to go back to the C panel. Then I can create forwarder. If I want to forward the email that I've created, forward it to uh, uh, my personal email. For instance, if I click here, click on forwarder, then I can just come back here. Since there, there's, uh, it's telling us the list of forwarders, you can see this one here now, this support at wordpress.com.ng is forwarded to my email. So if any email is sent to this address right now, I'll get a notification in my personal Gmail address. So I think that is cool for you to monitor your business email. So that's how to do that. You just click here, click on forwarder, add forwarder. You put in the email. For instance, in that support, I'll just put support. I'll type support here type support i'm not going to do that because i've already done that so support at so you can see the at here wordpress so this is the email uh, uh, the domain if you have more domain here you can pick your do domain so these ones are subdomains that i've created but if you have any so you can pick from there then the email address you want to forward to you pick from here and then you click add forwarder and that will create a forwarder for you now let's move on to the next uh aspect of it we have a uh, auto responder and then other stuff there that you can use so those are other things that you can use here there are so many of them i won't be able to go through everything on the uh c panel so let's move on to our file manager here we can go ahead and uh, check our file manager so we can click here to see our file manager to see the files there maybe you need to upload something to any part of this uh any part of your uh your, your file manager you need to upload something for instance you are working on your wordpress website and you are trying to upload and it's not uploading or maybe the size is not allowed then you can come here and upload directly by just clicking on upload pick a file and upload it to wherever you want it to be okay so let, don't forget you must open that place for instance if i want to put something inside uh this public html which is where you know this is where the main the primary file of the main um domain is going to be so you must come into this place before you upload please so you click on upload upload the file and it should be done in few minutes okay so that is file manager so that is how we can use our file manager here you can check your disk usage and then you can go ahead and take backup so all right then we have our database and php admin where we can create our databases uh this is a i mean a different distance on its own but most time why would you need this is if you are running a script so if you are running a script that you bought from somewhere you might be asked to create database to create user and create database you know and give it privilege so if you are doing that you can go ahead and just click on uh, you click on this go through the wizard you can come here and say uh give it uh, create the database name so you can say uh new new db let me say new db and uh, just for sample then go to next step then you can here you have to create the user create database users so you can say wordpress dash wordpress i can use the one that i've used before uh maybe this username or any of the user or you can create a new one and you can say uh let's say your project is uh um, uh um let's say e-commerce you, you can say e-com e-com or maybe e-com admin so like that then you put a strong password i'm going to put a strong password let's say uh okay so uh then i'm going to put it again this is not too strong i'm just 
uh, getting this very quickly so i put another put repeat it again okay then i'm gonna i'll say create user now once the user is created successfully the next thing for you to do is just to give it privileges give it all privileges in most cases and then go ahead and say uh make changes or you click on next step. if you click on next step it will automatically save so you can see user wordpress admin ecom admin was added to the database this and he has been given all the privileges so you can so this is how you do it then i believe in the script you are running you must have been given a place where you change the database name the database uh password and all of that and your script should start running fine okay so let's go back to c panel let's see other things we can do okay so here we can go to php my admin php my admin will help you to upload uh, a database you know you already have a database that is given to you this is what most of us do here at all the time so maybe a, a database is given to you for instance let's say this is a where is that one i just created now which is a look okay, a new db so if i click here you can see that there is no table on it it's coming up so nothing is on it yet nothing so if i click here nothing is on it so there is nothing on, maybe i want to import a database that is you know for i'm running a project i can click here to import and then here i'll choose the file that i want to import and then i'll go ahead and click import that is you must be importing in my sql uh, sql uh uh file for instance i think i have one but i'm not going to do that here now so you understand what i'm saying so here this is where you import and you can also export a database maybe you want to use it somewhere else or you just want to save it for future use okay so that is what we do here okay so now let's move on from there uh we have the domain under the domain we can do things like go to a zone editor you want to add your maybe uh you are asked to add a record to your domain uh stuff so you can come here look for your domain and click on manage and then you can add a record from here so you can add a record from here put in the record let's say you want to verify your domain ownership by google you put in your record from here and then you can uh, save that okay so that is for zone editor from the, apart from that you can also click on domain here what can you do under here you can create a subdomain and then you can add another domain you know there we have just one domain uh, that which is the primary domain but the package that you bought from inter server allows you to put in countless number of domains so you can create more domain by clicking here when you click here a domain that you have already pointed to inter server don't forget you need to point it to inter server if we come to uh uh let's say uh okay i've closed uh the distance now in my inter server account you will see that they are use a uh, server i mean a uh, name servers you, you will see the name servers that have been given to you so you must have gone to change that from your from wherever you got your domain for so after changing it you can just type it here and add it make sure you don't put you mark this out so that it will have its own different folder it will have its own different folder so when you put a domain like that then it will have its own different folder you submit and it will create that domain and that is what you now see the name you give to it but then let me come back to file manager here so when you had more domain like that you see them each of those domain will have their own folder like this one just like this sub folder uh, these are sub domain this one is a sub domain but if it's also a domain you do it the same thing so you follow the same step to create your domain okay so if it's sub domain you just type this dot this 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 and it will create it as a sub domain okay so that is how to do that to create a uh, more domain to add more domain you can add up to 10 20 domains to your hosting package here because they said it's infinity okay 
So then let me move on from there. After the domain, we have the metric where you can check your your bandwidth the, and other things. You can check the number of visitors to your and uh, then here under the security, this is another important area. You can set up two-factor authentication. One, number two, you can check a uh, SSL and a TLS status of each of your domain. And you know, if you are using any other uh, hosted package like Truehost, those of you that have been following my video, if you are using Truehost and you want to install a uh, SSL. You know, here we will say let's encrypt uh, SSL, but here they don't have it. Automatically, the let's encrypt uh, the this, uh, security is automatically installed on your domain when you create it with Inter Server. So that is why you don't you don't see it here. So you can just come here to check the status. If there's anyone that is not yet uh, you know secured, you can just select it and then say run auto SSL and it will be applied to that new domain that you have just added. So you can see the SSL does not cover this one. It does not cover mail. Why? Because it's a free SSL. Okay, so it's not something I bought. So it's a free SSL that is given to you. Then if you come to software here, this is WordPress manager where you'll be able to check all the WordPress uh, installation that you have on your on your on your domain. I mean, on your, on your hosting package, you can also click here too. I'll click here to do that. So if we click here now, we'll be able to uh, see all the installations that we have, and then we can install fresh copy of WordPress. So this is where we install fresh copy of WordPress. If you don't know how to do that, I have videos and fact, so many videos on installing WordPress for beginners. So you can check through uh my channel for that so we have many of it there so these are the ones i have you can click here to view how they look like let's say for instance this one you click here you see a preview here if you want to uninstall it you can uninstall you can remove and all of that so this is how to use a database okay so this one this website has what we call a slider at the top here that's why it's not showing okay so you can go back to a C panel, and I think those are just the few that I can show you. I don't want this video to be too long. So that is how to use Inter Server uh, Control Panel, just in a brief. Thanks for watching. I am um, one more thing, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Is if you want to change your what, to change your password. I have a um a video that I made earlier before now. On my channel so you can check that on how to change the password that was given to you you know the password is just some uh, basic random number so maybe you want to change uh, change it to something that you can always remember so you can do that using that video thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel please do right now please go ahead and subscribe because that inspires me it helps me to continue to make these free videos Thank you for watching and bye for now.